Call of Duty Vanguard. It's been talked about quite a bit lately. There's been lots of leaks and rumors and speculation about what the next Call of Duty game is going to be, and now we finally have proof. What's up, guys? This is Burt Music, and today I'm going to be reacting to the official Call of Duty Vanguard teaser. At the time of recording this video, the trailer was uploaded August 16th, 2021. These COD reveals, I swear, they just happened like later and later in the year. Remember when the newest Call of Duty games would be revealed in like May? It's crazy, man. And this was pretty crazy as well. Call of Duty actually sent me one of the early teasers for Vanguard on Sunday. I put out this brilliant tweet saying, um, Call of Duty sent me a video of COD 2021. Task Force Vanguard, what? And yeah, as you can see, they sent me this quick little five second snippet. If you pause right there, you can see it says Task Force Vanguard. So there's a lot of speculation that this game might tie into Modern Warfare somehow because of Task Force 141. And yeah, after I tweeted out this teaser, Sledgehammer Games followed me. So real quickly, while I have this moment, Sledgehammer Games, please make Advanced Warfare 2. I want the Exo Clown to come back. Come on, man. He's come back to COD Mobile. You know you want to. <laughs> nah, but seriously, it's pretty cool that they followed me on Twitter. Hopefully we can talk about Supply Drops or Advanced Warfare 2 at some point. But without further ado, boys, let's watch the Call of Duty Vanguard official teaser. I got it ready. It's in 4K, although this video is not in 4K. Okay, but hey, here we go. What do we got? Okay, this is definitely World War II. Is that a moist nougat? All wrapped up? Ready to snipe? Hit some quick scopes We got some root beers on the ground. Did you guys see that? Oh, we got a bunch of nades. Frag time seven confirmed. Bunch of bullets. This makes me think of all the other teasers that were leading up to this, but like, it's kind of more dragged out. Like you can actually see more of what's going on. I don't know if dragged out was the right word, but I'll, I'll just shut up now. See if we can dissect anything. Was that a face? Sergeant Kingsley. I don't know if that rings a bell for me. I'm stupid if I forgot. There's the Task Force Vanguard thing. The patch. Aktum! Trying to see if there's anything else I can notice. Oh, is that a stent on the ground? What was that? There was a gun on the ground. I don't know why, but this scene kind of made me think of Airfield. I think this is the one I was sent, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Got some palm trees. This is definitely not in Florida, though. Oh, wait. They're showing the faces. Uh, what is that? They're so Whatever sneaky. We do, See them rise? We do it together. There you go. Call of Duty Vanguard. Is that it? Zombie teaser at the end? Oh. Worldwide reveal in Warzone on August 19th. Okay, yeah, it's coming up soon. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now, obviously, this is just a teaser trailer. It doesn't really show us too much, but it kind of gives us an idea of, you know, like the actual time period that the game's going to be in. Obviously, the teaser tells us that the worldwide reveal is going to be in Warzone on the 19th. Now, here's the catch. I don't know exactly if I'm going to be like live streaming this or if I'm going to be recording it because as you guys know, I've been having some really bad like PC problems. If you guys saw the last Cold War video, I was talking about how my PC is actually like relatively old and it doesn't have the most ideal kind of setup in terms of the dual SLI 1080 Ti's and not being able to put an Elgato HD60 Pro in there. So today I was like, fuck it. Literally hours before recording this video, I just ordered a brand new custom gaming PC. It's gonna have a 3090 in it. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping I'll be able to bump up the quality of the videos as well to possibly 2K or 4K. And instead of having like a separate gaming PC and separate streaming PC setup, I should be able to get everything done in one PC. I'm pumped. Woo! But yeah, as far as it goes for the whole like reveal in Warzone thing, I might just be recording like a live reaction to it when it happens. I'll just have to wait and see. I'm just genuinely terrified to try streaming this whole event and then have everything fuck up on live stream. Like, ugh. I think I might just wait for the new PC, man. I'm curious to see the comments on this. Like, what are people saying about this teaser so far? YouTubers be like, 10 details you missed in the new COD Vanguard teaser. I mean, come on. If you guys are missing the 17 pack of root beers on the ground, we have to make videos. We have to point it out. You're welcome. Can't wait to use my anime M1 Garands. <laughs> yeah, about three to six months after launch, I'm sure you'll be able to. A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, I really hope that the voice lines break again. That would be great. Or if they casually just throw that voice line back into the game, that would actually be so funny. And other comments about anime realistic MP40s. Can't wait to see our main character survive literally anything. You know, that's actually a good point. It would be interesting to play a Call of Duty game where you play as the protagonist, but you actually don't make it out alive. Like, that'd actually be pretty interesting. Clearly, this person has played the game and is spoiling the campaign. It's funny seeing how over the years people have gone from being excited for a new COD to knowing exactly how bad the game is going to end up because of Activision's greed. For the main Call of Duty games, they've taken some steps in the right direction, 
but as far as it goes for Warzone not having anti-cheat and Call of Duty Mobile having like the crazy terrible like supply crate odds, yeah. It's kind of a mixed bag at this point. And regardless of Sledgehammer Games following me and then sending me the Call of Duty teaser early to be able to tweet out, I'm still gonna give you guys my unfiltered opinion about Vanguard. And again, this is just my stupid opinion, but I don't necessarily feel like Vanguard is the smartest decision for Call of Duty 2021. I pretty much have mixed feelings about it. Like, I want the game to succeed and do well, but I don't necessarily know if going the World War II route is the best approach. And I've said this before, I think the main reason they would make a brand new World War II Call of Duty game is to be able to integrate those weapons into Warzone. To potentially mix up the meta and have some more unique and interesting weapons in Warzone, while also somehow tying it into, like, the, the overall plot and story of Warzone. I don't want Call of Duty Vanguard to be just some boring World War II game. I hope it's actually executed very well, but they do have some big shoes to fill with World of War basically being, like, one of the best World War II FPSs of all time. That game is fucking incredible. I think it has a special place in a lot of Call of Duty players' hearts, and I don't necessarily know if this game is going to be able to surpass that. But we'll have to wait and see. And a big reason I don't want to call it too early and say that Vanguard is going to fail is because it might not actually be the game that we're expecting. If you guys have been around the channel long enough, then you might know about this. The fact that Sledgehammer had to cancel a third-person Vietnam Call of Duty game in 2014. That was the year that we got Advanced Warfare instead. Now, as a caveat, it's already confirmed that Vanguard is going to be taking place in the Second World War with all the different teasers that were sent out, including the one that I was sent. It confirmed that Vanguard's going to take place in the Pacific Front, North Africa, the Eastern Front, and the Western Front. This information specifically has me a lot more interested because this kind of takes the best of all the World War II Call of Duty games we've had so far and puts them all into one game. Now, cut me some slack because it's been a bit since I played the Call of Duty 2 campaign, but I'm pretty sure there were some missions that took place in North Africa, and 100% there were missions in World at War that took place in the Pacific Theater. But up until this point, up until Call of Duty Vanguard, we haven't gotten a COD game that covers all of it. But back to this cancelled third-person Call of Duty game. I completely forgot the game that got cancelled, it was gonna be called Call of Duty Fog of War. You know, I still think it'd be really interesting if they made this an actual Call of Duty game. I don't know if I can necessarily get behind the entire game being third person, but you know, like third person modes in Modern Warfare 2 and shit, like that was fun to play a multiplayer from time to time, but actually having a Vietnam era Call of Duty game would be pretty interesting. It kind of makes me think of like Black Ops 1. The main reason I wanted to pull all this up is because Sledgehammer Games as a studio clearly has had a lot of really creative direction and vision for Call of Duty. I don't know, there's just something about this cancelled Call of Duty game that gives off the similar vibe to what Vanguard's putting out. Call of Duty World War 2 might not have been the most perfect execution of a World War 2 Call of Duty game, but who knows, maybe COD Vanguard could actually be really good. But what's really tricky about taking that leap of faith and that risk this year is that there's some serious competition. I think the most direct head-on competition will be coming from Battlefield 2042 because it's a modern Battlefield game. A lot of people have been waiting for that as well. And if you're fucking tired of playing World War II and modern FPS games, well, there's Halo Infinite. But even with all these awesome video games coming out in 2021, guys, I have some really bad news. The Back for Blood beta is over! Okay, so I know that's like random as hell, but I played this beta so much. Like, guys, this was a beta. If you look here, I almost played this beta more than the entirety of Infinite Warfare's life cycle. In my recording folder, I've got tons of clips. I can make another video if you guys want to see it. I also saw a shit ton of suggestions to play a game called Splitgate. I have not checked that out yet. I don't have it downloaded or anything. But yeah, if you guys want to see me play Splitgate, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let me know how badly you want to see me play that because it looks pretty fucking awesome. There's so many new games that I'm excited for, but none of them are out and I'm just, ugh. Right now, I've got S1X, Modded Advanced Warfare pulled up. I figured I'd play this because I really do think this is Sledgehammer Games' best COD. What? What was that flick? Ah! I can't do it! There we go. Finally. <laughs> Motherfuck. I'm rolling the sleeves up. There we go. Is that fast enough? Ooh, headshot. There we go. I'm breaking the ice. Come on. Motherfuck! I swear I'm getting hunted by this dude. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, like, guys, definitely let me know what you think about the Vanguard teaser so far. Are you guys hyped for the game? Do you think it's going to be bad? Do you think it's going to be okay? <laughs> Woo! Sit down, skeeb. Oh, God. There you go. What is all the fractures fracturing? Ah. I completely forgot what happens here. Oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. There you go. There you go. Oh, Eric's nasty. Fuck. Where's the dude that's back here? What the fuck? What are they doing back here? Whoa. What? I think a bot just did that. What? 
Aimbot punch hacks? What? I think that bot's got a virus. When I was playing the Back for Blood beta, I ended up discovering on the second weekend that sniping was amazing. I really missed the sniping on that game because, you know, the weapons, they really don't have any idle sway at all. The hipfire accuracy on the snipers is amazing. Like, it was just so much fun, so satisfying. That's one thing I really hope is different in Vanguard. Like, I hope the sniping is amazing. Can we get some motherfucking World of War Ironside snipers back, please? That'd be dope. Again, it's just my opinion, but I think a reason why a lot of people really get nostalgic and love the older Call of Duty games is because sniping was really good. I know obviously not everyone's gonna feel that way, but I think it is part of it, though. Just look at the doo-doo ass sniping in Cold War. Like, it's not fun, and no one really does it. Like, you have to put so much effort into sniping in Cold War, and it's just, the reward is not there. Like, it's not really that fun or satisfying to snipe in Cold War. It just feels terrible. But yeah, Call of Duty Vanguard, I'm definitely looking forward to the Warzone live event, and I can't wait to play, hopefully, an alpha or a beta soon. But it will never be as good as this game. Ah! But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to the Call of Duty Vanguard teaser. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for the Call of Duty Vanguard live event, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need it. 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 I don